Hey guys, welcome back to Shindy Games, and today we are checking out Kingdom Rush, which is kind of like a medieval tower defense game that has ported over from tablets and, and mobile devices to Steam, and you can check it out on the Steam store. It's a pretty low price. Okay, let's jump straight in and see what the game is about. New game? Why not? Enemies and soldiers with armor receive less physical damage. Okay, so I don't know anything about this game. I'm pretty excited though because it looks pretty cool. And Duncan said, hey, he's played it and he loves it. So let's take, oh, the Curse of Black, Curse of Castle Blackburn. That looks pretty crazy. Okay, let's start here. Jump into the game and see what's what. Southport, okay. Greetings, noble and heroic warriors. As a general of his majesty's forces, King Dennis requires your services. Ah, oh, nice. The inhabitants of the city of Southport have reported attacks by highwaymen and other roaming outlaws. You must take a battalion of Southport to bolster the city's defenses. Good luck. All right, let's jump in now. I think this is basically like a medieval tower defense style game. So let's see what it's really about. Okay, protect your lands from the enemy attack. Build defensive towers along the road to stop them. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, sweet. Build the towers and strategic points to stop the enemy horde from getting through. Click these. This is a strategic point. Woot. Ready for action. Select the tower you want to build. Uh, right, okay. Basic tower types. Archer tower, good rate of fire. Barracks, soldiers block enemies. All right, so the soldiers will come out of the barracks and stop the enemies from going down the road. Major's guild, high damage and armor piercing. And artillery towers that deals area damage. Okay, cool. So it looks like the game wants us to build here. So let's just jump in and put down, oh, I don't know, maybe an archery tower right here. Archers ready. Now, is that enough? Can we start the wave or have we got more to spend? Let's see, we could put another archer tower right here. And, oh, how much more, more gold have we got? Um, let's see. These cost 70. The Mage Tower costs 100. And the Dwarven Bombard costs 125. But where's our resources? It looks like we've got 125 gold. So have I got enough to spend on a Dwarven Bombard as well? Let's try that. There we go. We spent all our gold now. So let's just bring on the monsters. Okay, here they come. New enemy. What's this? A goblin. Low health. Average speed. Oh yeah, there he comes down the road. Oh, <laughs> you're toast, my friend. Bombs away! Oh, nice. The arrows are really pinning these guys down. Oh, weird. The artillery kind of misses a lot. So it's kind of good for area damage, but it's not very accurate for single target. I see. Incoming next wave. Click to call it early. Yeah, bring on the pain. Just more goblins. Nothing new here. We should be able to handle these with ease. Oh, yeah. Dwarven Bombard's doing a lot of damage, but actually not that much because it's not doing that much area damage. These things aren't congested enough. I think what we really need is a guard, a barracks kind of up here to slow down the enemy and so that our area of effect damage really kind of gets splashed out amongst the enemies. But I haven't got enough to afford a barracks yet, so let's just keep bringing the waves on. You can summon troops to help you in the battlefield. Reinforcements are free. Ooh! And you can call them every 10 seconds. Nice. Uh, okay, new power. Let's try this. Click on the road, and here they come! Oh yeah, look at these farmers. Ready to kick some ass. Go on, kill the goblins. Get them, get them, lads. Go on, go on, do them! Oh, what? Oh yeah, there they go, there they go. They're bringing in, bringing the pain now, bringing the noise. And what these guys do as well is they slow down the goblins, which means that these guys bunch up, and my AoE tower can do some serious damage to them. Oh no, but they're dead, the farmers are done! Oh no, they're, they're goblin meat! Oh no, alright, bring on the next wave, and I should be able to afford a barracks after this. Okay, here they come. Kablammo. New enemy, oh no, what's this? An orc! Ooh, light armor, but slow speed. This is going to be harder to kill then, I guess. Is that an orc right there? It doesn't look like it, it looks like a goblin. Oh, it might be bigger than a goblin though, it might be an orc. It must be, it's the only thing on the field. Okay, take him out, archers. Oh, yeah, he's taking a lot less damage. Oh, no, I hope he doesn't get through. Yeah, no, he's not going to get through. No way. No chance. Oh, yeah, easy meat. No match for these awesome archers. Right, now I'm going to put down a barracks, I reckon. Right about here. 70 gold. I can afford it now. Oh, yeah. Now let's bring on the next wave. Now what these guardsmen should do is hold up our enemy here so that our damage tower here, our area damage here, has more clumped up troops to kill. Here we go. Oh yeah, now this should work. 
Oh, yeah, it's working great. Now, what I'm worried about, actually, is that our tower is damaging our own dudes. I think it might be. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we're doing so much damage, though, with that tower now. It's the perfect kind of mix. The barracks blocks people, and the AoE tower does all the damage to them. Oh, nice. This is so far a pretty simple game. We've only got four types of towers, but it makes... Oh, what's this? We've got a tip here. Command your troops. You can adjust your soldier's rally point to make them defend a different area. Oh, nice. We should do that. Make them rally... Let's see. Rally here instead, guys. So this is closer to the guard tower here. And it puts them in range of this archery tower as well. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Now, this AoE tower is really doing some serious damage. But I feel like I should have another troop of another barracks down here to tie up some more of these goblins and orcs as they come down. Oh, yeah, bombs away. Oh, we're kicking serious ass now. Oh. Looking good. Oh, yeah, wave complete. Just about. Oh, no, he's not going to get through, is he? Whew. Now, I better spend some of this gold because they almost got through there. Armed enemies. Some enemies wear different levels of armor that protects them against physical attacks. Armed enemies take less damage from marksmen, soldiers, and artillery, but they'll take more from mages. So we should get a mage tower, maybe. New special power. Rain of fire. Blast your enemies with fire from the skies. Sounds pretty cool. Is that number one there? Oh, yes. Yeah, sweet. So we're going to put, like, a mage tower down here. I've got the gold, too, so why the hell not? I'm not sure if they'll get as far as this, though. Oh, yeah, the AoE tower's great for these goblins. And some of them will get through, I'm pretty sure, but the mage tower should make short work of them. Oh, yeah, they're getting blasted now. Oh, watch out! Ooh. No! No! Oh, no, we've got a goblin's been let through! Oh, no! This is bad, this is bad. Wait, 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 Firestorm. I can kill this guy. Oh, yeah! Woo! Close one. And I've got reinforcements as well, don't forget. Sweet, so let's move on to the next zone. All right, where next? Buy upgrades. Oh, sweet, we can upgrade our towers here as well. Let's see what the upgrades are. Oh, we can upgrade each of the different individual towers. Now, I really like the idea of the bombard towers, so I think I might upgrade that. Here we go, and the next one is increase the range. All oh, right, range is pretty big, so I might upgrade that again as well, actually. Oh, no, I can't, but hmm, what should I upgrade then? Maybe the barracks. I like the combination of a barracks to tie down the troops and an artillery tower to pummel them with lots of area damage. Okay, so let's just build up their toughness, and I reckon I'm done there. Right, next zone. Oh, and I see. You make your way all the way along the road, picking a different route to take all the way into the enemy fortress. Okay, cool. Right, so let's just um, try this next one, the outskirts. Okay, good job. Your diligent investigations have revealed that it was not mere brigands terrorizing Southport, but organized bands of goblins and orcs. Now, their forward troops are creeping towards the defenseless rural communities north of Southport. We must defend them at all costs. Okay, let's go to battle. Towers level two available. Oh, nice. Now we can upgrade our towers to level two. Let's do that then. Okay, now I'm going to put down a couple of bombard towers and a barracks maybe? No, I'll put, I'll put a bombard tower here for sure. Want some? Get some. And a barracks here? And what I will do is I'll have the rally point be here instead. Yeah, so they've got plenty of time to get pummeled by these dudes. And then while they're pinned down... I will oh, just move them down here. And while they're pinned down with my troops here, they'll take even more damage from the bombards. Okay, let's do it. Next wave. Now, not forgetting, I do have my reinforcements and my firestorm. But I don't need any of these yet, so let's just cancel that. Oops. Oh, yeah, look at the damage being dealt by those bombs. That's pretty nuts. Oh, now, I'm not sure I've taken the right choice of towers here. I think some of these goblins might get through. Yeah, I'm going to need to deploy some reinforcements here. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it takes so much damage from that tower. But some of them do get through because it looks like if they're not tied down with an individual dude, 
they just get through. Now, can this bombard hit the ones down here? Let's see. I don't think it's quite got the range. No, it doesn't. Okay, firestorm time. Death from above. Oh no! But now this guy. Oh no! This guy's gonna get through. I don't know if I've got something to say about it. Deploy the farmers. Man, this isn't looking good. I can put a bombard here though. Let's do it. Oh no! I haven't quite got the gold. Come on. Kill some more goblins. Uh-oh. Get some reinforcements down here. And I might have to put a bombard here. There we go. Oh, why isn't it shooting anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, but two of them have got through. Oh, this isn't looking good. I'm doing pretty badly here, actually. Oh, yeah. So I'll put some more reinforcements here to tie down the gobos. And I will need another bombard right here. But what's this tip? Barracks are good for blocking the enemy, but lack in attack power. Make sure you have enough firepower to support them. Right, yeah, well, it looks like they've done a similar thing to what I've done. Put the barracks here and have, like, some towers and stuff here. Okay. Now, these villagers and barracks dudes are tying down the orcs enough for my bombard to do serious damage to them, but I need to put another one here, I think. New enemy? Oh, no, what the hell? Oh, these are super quick. Oh, no, but be careful with these. Put down some more farmers, I think, right here. And can I put down a... No, I can't put down a bombard yet. Oh, no, they're getting through. The dogs are getting through. What is it? Very fast, vicious creatures that can dodge melee attacks. Oh, no, so they just skip completely. My melee dudes. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I'm losing health pretty badly here. Okay, so I need to think about maybe an archery tower to deal with those dogs. So am I going to put an archery tower here? No, I want another bombard here as soon as I can afford one, but I feel like this is a bad mix. I'm getting owned here. I'll put down some more farmers just to distract these dudes. I'll drop a firestorm on these goblins here. Oh, yeah, lots of damage. And now I can put down another bombard right here. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Oh, yeah, this is the death the death corner here. They come around this U-bend, and as soon as they run into my troops, they get owned by these two bomb towers. Oh, yeah. And if they get through, there's a bomb tower down here to mop up. Now, will that be able to take that dude out? I hope so. Can afford an archery tower. I'm going to put an archery tower here. Nice mix. Now, hopefully, the, the archery tower will take out these dogs. Come on. Oh no, the dogs do stop. But they can dodge melee attacks, which means oh, they might own my troops. Oh no. Oh no, they're too quick for my bomb tower. Oh damn it. Yeah, I definitely need probably some more archery towers. Let me drop a firestorm here. Deal with these dudes. Nice. Now, come on. One bomb. One bomb. Oh, no. Okay. Farm has to deal with this. Yeah, take that dog out. Nice. Oh, there's too many dogs. There's too many dogs. Definitely another archery tower, I think, here. Let's put one there. This should deal with the dogs that get through. Oh, yeah. No match. Nice. Now, oh, I'm going to drop a firestorm on these dudes over here as soon as it recharges. Any second now, come on. Oh, yeah, death from above. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Armageddon. Now, these bomb towers are super effective at dealing with these hordes of orcs. And whatever gets through gets mopped up by my archers. Mage towers look kind of weak, actually. I mean, they shoot big damage at orcs, but there's too many dudes. And they don't have enough area effect of effect or multi-shot abilities to kind of take them out. Victory! Oh, yeah! Sweet. Okay. So what's new now? We've got more upgrades. Now I'll keep upgrading bomb towers, maybe. Costs reduced by 10%. That's pretty cool. 
Well, that's been it, guys, for Kingdom Rush. I've been Stin, and this has been a Stindy Games look at this neat indie game available on Steam. It's a port from iOS and Android, so if you like it, check it out on Steam. If you had fun watching me, have fun yourself playing the game. But I've been Stin, and I'll see you next time for some more Stindy Games. Take care.